All right, so lesson seven. Lesson seven, we're going to piggyback on some stuff that we did previously. And we need to make sure our order of operations are correct, and we're going to be dealing a lot with absolute value symbols and a lot of parentheses. All right, because sometimes in our work in algebra, we often get ourselves confused. All right, so we'll start off with a basic, a basic equation, a basic, a basic work. And in this case, I have nine minus the absolute value of four minus six. In this case, the absolute value is going to work just like it was parentheses. So you tell me, what is four minus six? <coughs> Negative two. And the absolute value makes it. Okay, it makes it two. But there's a negative on the outside, so that's going to bring it back to negative 2. Notice I, I showed all my work, exactly what I did. Now I'm left with 9 minus 2, which is 7. All right, pretty straightforward. We can go on from there and get a little more complicated from there. How about this one? 5 times 2 plus, in brackets, or braces, 3 plus 6 minus 8. All right. So 6 minus 8 is, oh, I didn't close that off. Oops. Negative 2. 3 plus negative 2 is, it's 1. Now, order of operations, 5 times 2. 10 plus 1, 11. So in this case, I have to follow my order of operations. And it's tempting to want to do 2 plus 1 first. But don't do that. We took care of the parentheses, brackets, braces, all that garbage. Then we multiplied because we followed our order of operations. And that is the key. Follow your order of operations first before you attempt any other work. All right? They could get more complicated from there. All right. What comes first in order of operations? The parentheses come first. So what is 9 minus 3? That's 6. Now, we're working within these brackets here. And we're working within those brackets. Now we can see that we have an uh, exponent. We need to take care of that. What is 6 squared? 36. Now I can do 36 minus 6. I'm still within my brackets. What is 36 minus 6? It's 30. So I did all my work. I'm not in my brackets. My brackets are done. Now I have 5 times 30. Using order of operations, 5 times 30 would be next. What would that be? 150. So now I have 3 plus 150. What do I get? 153. Perfect. All right. So far, so good? All right. Now, Sometimes in your homework, you're going to be told to justify what you do. Justify means explain. It means prove. Explain why you did what you did when you did it. All right. What would be the very first thing to do in here? 4 plus 2. So to justify it, in your homework, when you're told to justify it, this is what you need to do. You need to show your work. So 5 times 4 plus 2 is 6. So what's your first step? I added within the parentheses. Okay? The first step. I add it within the parentheses. Okay, what's your second step? 
What would your second step be? Six squared. So your second step would look like this. Five times 36 plus four times five divided by two. So would you do your second step? That was one. Second step is I simplified the exponent. This is your justification. And when you do this in geometry, you're going to get a half page for one problem. Okay, this is not going to be a half page. All right. What's your, what's your third step then? Five times 36. So you're going to get 180 plus 4 times 5 divided by 2. So your third step is you multiply in the brackets. You could say you simplified in the brackets too. Okay? Okay, I'm going to move on to the next page come out of the room. Your fourth step is going to be what? What do you have to do? Four times five, which is 20. So it's 180 plus 20 divided by two. So your fourth step, you simplified the numerator. You simplified the numerator, right? You did four times five. Fifth step, what are you gonna do? You gotta do something. We're gonna divide. So we're gonna actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna divide, yes. But we're gonna simplify the fraction, which is 20 divided by 2 is 10. So that's 180 plus 10. Your sixth step and your final step is to add. Answer 190. So you will be occasionally told to justify your work, and that's what you do. You explain what you do. You don't have to say the numbers that you're doing, you just say what you did. I simplified the numerator. I simplified the whole fraction. I added. All right? So make sure you are very careful for what you do when you are doing these steps. And uh, our final thing is you might be told to explain something like this. Alright, so here's an equation that doctors use. This is the body mass index. It's a relation of your height to your weight, of your weight to your height, I should say. Weight to your height. So W equals weight, height equals H equals height in inches. It's used to calculate the BMI. What steps would you do to solve this equation? You tell me, what steps would you do? What would the very first step do? You would square H, right? Then you would simplify the fraction. Then you would, finally, multiply by 703. All right, so that's what you would do, ultimately, to do something like that. So any questions? I'd have to look it up. I actually don't know. There's a reason, but I... I off the top of my head, I, could, I don't know the reason. I don't know why it's your weight to your height squared. But they're, what they're doing with your body mass index is they're looking at the, your weight compared to your height and trying to get an idea of what your um, fat content is. Also taking account, 7 out of 3 has got to do something with bone density. 
and um, muscle mass. So that's the equation they come up with. By the way, it's